For two days, I went out into the countryside and painted in four different locations. There's nothing really quite like it. The sound of the wind, the birds and the falling leaves, and the experience of painting a sunset as it was happening. I hope this video inspires you in some way, and I hope you enjoy. For my first painting, I found a pathway in the trees that led to a small enclosed area where I could sit. Without like taking up too much detail in the background, I just want to focus on drawing the path and then the trees surrounding it like it's a little archway. I paint with oils most of the time, but this time I went with watercolours because they're so much easier to travel with. I used to use watercolours for everything, but it's been a while now so I'm very out of practice. I had the perfect brush for the occasion as well. The bristles were very fine at the end so it was perfect for painting leaves. With watercolours you always have to start from the light colours to the dark ones, so I'm just putting down the base colours for now. And I'm going to add some yellow and dark green and then I'll add the trunks. This is it so far, I just spent a lot of time making the path, but unfortunately I made this part too dark and you can see that there's quite a lot of light on it from the gaps in the trees and I haven't been able to do that here and I can't add white on top of it because that doesn't really work with watercolours so I'm going to see if I can do anything about that at home but for now it kind of just looks like this and now I need to add in the branches and the trees, the tree trunks I actually quite like how this one turned out it took about two hours to complete and I later added some falling leaves and tried to paint the dates with the wrong brush. This next painting is definitely an experience I'll never forget. I walked with my sister to find an open field where we could see the sunset and we tried to paint it. So I'm here with Jade, my sister. So Jade and me have come to this field to paint the sunset which we can't really see right now because it's kind of covered with clouds. But yeah, we're just gonna see what we can do and it's gonna be fun. Can I have some water? I don't have any water. <laughs> Wait, no, swat it the other way so you can get a cinematic shot. Thank <laughs> you, very dear sister. That was so cinematic. I also just want to take this time to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I never expected it to happen so soon and I'm really grateful, so thank you. Yay! So that's two paintings today. This one. And this one. Yeah. I'm still a bit wet. Yaws. That's going to be in the video, you know, if you say yaws. Yaws. Okay, so Jade, they went for something very artistic with all the different colours and the tree being the centrepiece. Yeah, sort of like what I saw there. <laughs> but like, cool background. But like hyper realistic. And then I went for a uh, little. <laughs> the next day I was looking to paint something more close up, not another landscape. And so as I was walking along this field, I found some berries that caught my eye. Just over here. Oh, I love it. The, it's so blue. Ah, oh, I need to paint this. This is what I'm gonna paint. This is it. <laughs> it's so pretty. So I'm definitely going for something more stylized here. Just kind of 2D, but and without a background really, just a, like a really, really pale green wash. I'm gonna try and make the berries look a bit more 2D, 3D, I mean. So I've really been enjoying painting recently, just because it's outside. I feel like there's a lot less pressure to perform and make it like an amazing painting. Oh, that looks, sh okay, so I'm gonna try and make the branch a bit darker so you can see it. It's a bit green, not gonna lie. I'll show you all the paintings in just a sec, but this is the final painting of the berries and I actually think it's my favourite painting of this whole video. So this is the result of the two days. I love how they all turned out in the end and that they now all hold a memory of this experience. I also made this painting but I ended up cutting it out of the video because it felt a bit repetitive. And then there's the berries of course. Thank you for watching and thank you for 100 subscribers and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!